structural variation or genomic structural variation is when you compare two genomes um, we have about three billion chemical letters that define our genomes and when genomicists, geneticists actually compare two genomes they actually focus on single letter changes and these letter changes um, actually constitute about 0.1 percent of the variation of the genomes when you compare say my genome and your genome but what we found recently is that large sentences not single letter but large sentences actually deleted or duplicated or reversed in some genomes as compared to the others and these are called structural variants and these are larger than single letter changes and as such they may have a more profound impact on what these genetic differences mean. Maybe they actually delete a gene that relates to growth. Maybe that, uh, that we gain a gene, uh, multiple copies of a gene that relates to digestion of a particular uh, type of food, like starch. Um, and these kind of changes that I'm focusing on in my laboratory, and I'm comparing human genomes to each other and human genomes to chimpanzee genomes or Neanderthal genomes to see what are the differences, what makes us human, what contributes to our genetic variation. So these are the questions that we are trying to answer and we use a lot of um, molecular genetics techniques including PCR to amplify DNA, DNA sequencing, next generation sequencing. We also do a lot of analysis of the RNA, the transcripts that uh, result from the expression of the DNA uh, code. There are multiple graduate students, multiple master's students, and multiple undergraduates working in the lab very actively, really understanding the problems um, and applying different techniques, thinking about these problems, and I think they have a very good um, synergy right now. Um, and that idea that I am actually, even if I cannot publish any papers, even if I cannot find the results that I want to, uh, to find, that at the end of the day there will be uh, people, students, uh, coming out of the lab learning a good amount of computational biology, uh, about bioinformatics, about biology, about genetics, etc. Which I'm very proud of and happy that this is actually something that is happening in, uh, in Buffalo.